Hey, it's card of the day, and this is card number 126, titled A Quizzical C-3PO. So let's learn more about the history of C-3PO. After returning to Coruscant, Padme received Senator Farr's messages and prepared to travel to Rhodia in a bid to ensure that the beleaguered planet remained loyal to the Republic. C-3PO and Representative Jar Jar Binks began to prepare her star skid for takeoff from a landing platform when they were approached by the conmen Daniel Faitoni and Ahmed Beck who were posing as Republic judicials. C-3PO calmly acquiesced when the scammers claimed that they were commandeering the skiff for government business. But before the droid could disengage the ship's autopilot, Binks mistakenly caused the entire platform to flip upside down. The Gungan quickly righted the platform, but the confusion caused C-3PO to forget to turn the autopilot off, which ultimately caused Phaetoni and Med Beck to be taken directly to the Senate commandos that they had been fleeing from. With the skiff gone, C-3PO and Binks began preparing Amidala's new yacht instead. When the trio took the yacht to Rhodia's senatorial palace, C-3PO and Binks were instructed to remain at its landing platform while Padme conducted talks with Senator Farr. After an attempt by the two at communicating with local swamp creatures and resulted in fruit being thrown at the protocol droid's face, a squad of B-1 battle droids approached the yacht as Senator Farr had recently struck a deal with Viceroy New Gunray of the Separatist Allied Trade Federation. The unintentional machinations of the clumsy Gungan then set off a series of events. The yacht's hatch closed, C-3PO became stuck to a magnetic hoist that swung into then destroyed the battle droids, and an LM-432 crab droid arrived before plummeting off the landing platform into water with Binks atop it. Still stuck to the magnetic hoist, C-3PO lamented that he believed to be the Gungan's death before Binks climbed back onto the platform and released the droid from his magnetism. His next clumsy action was to crush and destroy the yacht with the hoist, however. As the two secured what remained of the ship's bridge, Binks discovered a Jedi-esque cloak and rushed off to save Padme, whom they deduced had been taken hostage by Separatist forces. Alright, that's it for now. More information on the next C-3PO card. And now it's the back side of the card, and it's Movie, movie facts. facts! George Lucas, writer-director of Star Wars, has strong personal feelings about the movie. I wasted four years of my life cruising like the kids in American Graffiti, and now I'm on an intergalactic dream of heroism. It's my fantasy. I made Star Wars because no one else is making movies like this, and I wanted to see one. I wanted it to be a success so everyone will copy it. Then I I can go see the copies, sit back, and enjoy them. That's card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching Star Wars Obsessed Card of the Day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You could also follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.